You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro No one is your dream gonna make it There's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Are you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Aren't you just gonna take that Or will you fight back? Welcome back and backstage, the returning Johnny B. Easy is here talking to Jared Blackwell. Johnny B. Easy, weeks ago, suffered at the hands of number one and number two. Tonight, seems to be getting a chance to take them on. And we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Jared Blackwell has taken the ring to address his son, CJ Blackwell. The winners of this match, the Blackwells, and it seems like, wait a minute, wait a minute, CJ Blackwell just attacked his father. Seems Jared Blackwell is pretty hot. Wanting some answers from his son, CJ. And it seems like CJ Blackwell is headed to the ring. CJ Blackwell. And his father having a fallout after the adrenaline pay-per-view where CJ attacked his father. Revealing that he was on the side of number one and number two. And it seems 
Wait, wait a minute. That is true. CPW is owned by both CJ Blackwell and Jared Blackwell in a 50-50 split. But it seems Jared Blackwell has a trick up his sleeve. We'll be having a handicap match. going to be a handicap match with the Mega Bucks, the Pitbulls, and number one and number two. Oh my goodness, and the boss of this so-called varsity squad has to reveal himself tonight and face Chris Gates in a ladder match with the loser taking on the wave next week. Oh wow, this is gonna be interesting folks. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned right here on CPW for more action. We're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. CPW. If you want to learn how to support CPW, hit that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you're not a subscriber, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button today to stay up on the latest and greatest. Hit the bell for notifications when I drop new videos on CPW. All right, welcome back. The Pitbulls will be teaming up with the Mega Bucks to take on number one and number two in the first ever that I've witnessed. A tag team handicap match. The following contest is a handicap match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 562 pounds, the bruiser, Joey Rush, Jack Magnum. The Pitbulls and the Mega Bucks teaming up to take on the notorious number one and number two tonight. Jared Blackwell has pulled out all the stops. Punishment is coming their way. Number one and number two, I don't feel sorry for you at all because you'll be taking on the CPW Tag Champs and these guys. Hot off the Indies, the Pitbulls. All right, coming out now to help the, wait a minute. What the hell? But what? Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. The Mega Bucks. Wait. The Mega Bucks was number one and number two. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. I. <laughs> The Mega Bucks! Oh my god, the Mega Bucks! 
are number one and number two this whole time? Oh my, they must have faked the attack. Johnny B. Easy and Ryan Black, what are they doing? This is crazy. Number one and number two this whole time was the Mega Bucks. Working behind the scenes with Jared Blackwell. Working behind the scenes with CJ Blackwell. I don't believe this. Now the supposed handicap match is now a regular tag team match. It, and it seems... I, I gotta say this, CJ Blackwell and the, uh, the varsity squad, as they call themselves collectively, have been one step ahead of Jared Blackwell. Ryan Black with a kick to the face. Tags in, Johnny B. Easy. These guys are despicable. The Mega Bucks turning their back on the fans. I can't believe this. Dragon screw leg whip by Johnny going for the cover. Only able to get a one count that time. Hip toss by Joey Rush. Ryan Black on the, the offense taking out Jack Magnum on the other side of the ring. Going for the cover, one. Only able to get a one count for Joey Rush. The Pitbulls now must be fighting with extra fury. Hoping to impress maybe Jared Blackwell, who's watching backstage in range. Again, another cover. One. And Ryan Black able to make the save that time. Even though I, I, I don't agree with their actions, the Mega Bucks are the premier tag team here in CPW. Why they aligned themselves with CJ to turn against Jared Blackwell, I have, I have no clue. What a Pele kick by Ryan Black. Joy Rush moves out the way at the last second. Sends Johnny B. Easy flying to the turnbuckle. But Ryan Black able to make the save yet again. Stopping the tag. This is why the Mega Bucks are so dangerous. Ryan Black. Again. Causing all kinds of pain for Joey Rush. Bucks now clearly in control of the match dominating dominating the, the, the pit bulls oh and the head of Joey Rush slamming against the ground sent right into that pole The count is at six now. Seven. The Mega Bucks, will they take a count out? No. Eight. Was able to get back in at the count of eight. 
all of this time. All the attacks from these two around CPW, the locker room, the whole time was the Megabucks. We thought Johnny B. Easy was injured. Ryan Black now on the offense. Taking time to mock Joey Rush as he's in a day state. Oh! Both men go crashing over the top rope. Again, once again, the Mega Bucks. Supreme athletes in the tag division. What a victory this would be if the Pitbulls are able to knock off the CPW Tag Team Champions. Six. The count is now at six. Seven. Both men now back in the ring. And again, the Mega Bucks in firm control. DDT, Ryan Black on, and again Ryan Black with the DDT, I think he busted Joey Rush open, oh, Jack Magnum, wait a minute, and Ryan Black brings in Jack Magnum for his troubles. Suplex that brought Jack Magnum into the ring, but slam! Pump handle slam by Joey Rush, who's feeling it right now. Could he put Johnny B. Easy away? Going for the cover. One, two, th almost, almost a three count that time. Don't know how he did it. Ryan Black able to kick out right before the, like 2.9 seconds. Drop down. Ryan Black. Joy Rush down the offense, fighting back. Ryan Black with the leg drop. He's going top rope. Looks like the coup de grace. Stop! It connects. Will he go for the cover? No, the arrogancy of Ryan Black. Will he go for the cover now to put him? No. Tags in. Johnny B. Easy. Johnny B. Easy goes for the cover. One, two, and Joey Rush able to kick out. And it looks like Johnny B. Easy is just, it's like they're mocking the pit bulls. Johnny B. Easy not even attacking. It's like he's waiting for Joey Rush to get to his feet. Jack Magnum waiting on the on the side, trying to, oh my goodness, kick to the back by Johnny B. Easy. Ryan Black back up on his feet. Joey Rush abused, pretty much abused this whole entire match. Wait a minute. Ryan Black has a chair in his hand. Once again, this is not an Extreme Rules match. 
He can be disqualified. Oh my! And there it is. This match is over. The Pitbulls win by disqualification. Oh! And Ryan Blackburn attacking with that chair on Joey Rush. My goodness, the assault. And we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. If you're just now joining us, it's been revealed that number one and number two making her way to the ring were the Mega Bucks. Victoria, they just was in a match with the Pitbulls. The Mega Bucks revealed as number one and number two got disqualified by hitting Jack Magnus with a chair. And then continued to viciously beat Joey Rush with the chair after the D after the DQ. Kimberly yeah. James, Kimberly very James. dangerous. Right now in front of us, we have a Rose Rumble. Some of the contestants here who didn't get a chance to face Roxanne for the title will compete right now for a chance to take on Roxanne next week in one-on-one -on -one competition for the CPW Rose title. female on the roster, Tammy Young. And headed to the ring right now, the fan favorite. who has yet to capture the CPW Women's Rose title along with Sophia Hall, Sharon Velez. Probably the most popular female wrestler on the CPW roster along with Roxanne. We'll be doing battle here alongside her cousin, Victoria Ortiz. This should be an interesting bout. Which female will come out on top? This is an over-the-top Rose Rumble to determine who will be facing Roxanne next week 
for the CPW Women's Rose title. The only way to advance is to eliminate your opponent over the top rope. And it seems like Sharon Velez and Victoria Ortiz are off to a, a strong start. Vicious hands by Victoria Ortiz. Victoria Ortiz eliminates Kimberly James. Down to three women now. Suplex by Sharon Velez. And a flipping clothesline by Sharon Velez. Sharon Velez now focusing on Tammy Young. Tammy Young fighting back now with a suplex of her own. Oh, what a slap by Victoria Ortiz. I think the first row felt that. Victoria Ortiz, can she eliminate Tammy Young? But Sharon Velez back to her feet. Up. Quickly how the Cousins turn on one another here. What a DDT by Victoria Ortiz to Sharon Velez. Sharon Velez, Victoria Ortiz, cousins, bitter rivals here in CPW. It seems like Tammy Young trying to eliminate Sharon Velez, but comes up short. Sharon Velez now, dangerous position, hanging on the side of the ropes. And now Tammy Young could be eliminated. Could be eliminated by the Cousins. And Tammy Young has been eliminated by Victoria Ortiz and Sharon Velez. And now the two, oh! What a great Northern Light suplex. By Sharon Velez, we're down to just the cousins in the ring. Sharon Velez, Victoria Ortiz. Sharon Velez, Victoria Ortiz, bitter rivals here in CPW since its inception. Sharon Velez would normally get the upper hand on Victoria Ortiz, but can that change tonight? Sharon Velez feeling it. What a slap. Victoria Ortiz fighting back now. Can she change the tide? Can she change? What the stats say about her? Again, normally Sharon Velez is, is a normally Sharon Velez holds more victories 
over her cousin, Victoria Ortiz, but Victoria Ortiz fighting back once again. Whoa! Sharon Velez hits the rear view. And that's normally the setup for a special, the Star Stunner. Looked like she might be going for it. Star Stunner! Sharon Velez hits the Star Stunner. This could be an elimination right here. Sharon Velez hoisting. Victoria Ortiz over the top. No! Victoria Ortiz. Wait! Sharon Velez now trying to kick Victoria Ortiz out of the ring. No! Victoria Ortiz fighting back. She is still in this match. Oh, that, oh my goodness, that would have been it. Reversal. And Victoria Ortiz able to hit the victorious on Sharon Velez. What a match. Victoria Ortiz able to change her fate. God, Victoria Ortiz eliminated Sharon Velez, advancing to take on Roxanne next week for the CPW Women's Rose Championship. able to take down the queen, Roxanne, next week, and we'll be right back. And this is the match. We find out who's behind the varsity. Wait a minute. That's the World Heavyweight Champion, Aaron Awesome. He's part, he's the guy behind the varsity squad. Oh my goodness. Aaron, I can't believe this. The World Heavyweight Champion this whole time? Along with CJ Blackwell, the Mega Bucks, and, and Rick Hamsey, Aaron Austin was the boss. Well, it makes sense now. The varsity squad, he calls himself a teacher. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on here. Nelson suplexed by Aaron Awesome. Yeah. 
who had the, oh, what a kick to the face. Aaron Orson who out of, just came out of nowhere and attacked Chris Gates, but now we see he needed a face. Good being uppercut. But now we see Aaron Awesome, the leader of the varsity squad, I, I presume. And now Aaron Awesome sets up that ladder. Runs up the ladder. Oh! Aaron Awesome with precision. Cat like reflexes, runs up the ladder, jumps off and lands on top of Chris Gates. Oh! What a kick by Aaron Awesome. Now working on the head. And Aaron Awesome in control of this match. Driving the elbow into the chest of Chris Gates. Those elbow drops are like daggers. He throws all his weight behind those elbow drops. But Chris Gates now, could he be mounting some kind of offense against Aaron Austin? Chris Gates, the hired bodyguard for a long time, there was some backstage speculation that maybe Chris Gates was behind all the attacks, but as you can see, Chris Gates trying to defend CPW for Jared Blackwell. Again, the stipulation of this match, the loser, the loser must go down in rankings and face the wave next week I believe and Aaron Awesome to the top comes down with that elbow again like daggers to the heart for Aaron Awesome this could mean his championship the, the title would be vacated if he loses Not only would the title be vacated, he would have to face the wave next week. Chris Gates now fighting. And Aaron Awesome. Aaron, what is Aaron, what is he doing? Oh, the C minus. The C minus from the top of the ladder. The C minus connects. Aaron Awesome completely takes out Chris Gates. What an amazing C minus from off the top of the ladder. Aaron Awesome, if he unloosens this briefcase, Chris Gates will fall to the bottom of the CPW rankings. And Aaron Awesome wins, oh my God. Aaron Awesome able to defeat Chris Gates. And next week, Chris Gates has to face the way, but that right there, the C minus from the top of the ladder sealed Chris Gates' fate. World Heavyweight Champion Aaron Awesome decked out in new gear. Here is your winner. Varsity squad, he, he must be the leader. 
and we'll catch you next time.